Come on, gently get started. Vivo X300 Pro Photographer's Edition. Wow, this used to be reserved for the top tier models. Hmm, it feels very substantial. Peel off the film. On the top is the Vivo X300 Pro phone. I want to see if there's any difference between this set version and the Ultra version. It seems like there's no difference. A Zeiss lens, a handle, hmm, no difference. All right, let's just look at the phone directly. Continue unboxing. Peel off the film. I still don't know what color it is inside. Uh, dun dun dun. Peel it off. This color, you could say it looks a bit like Thai color. The frame is a bit like Thai color. Let me see what it's called. Wilderness Brown Color Scheme. The main point is to look at the camera bump. It's okay, not as protruding as the super large version, and it also has a ring of this threaded bayonet design. The key is for you to see that besides this circle of brown thread, the entire holder is wrapped like this. This design appears much more gentle compared to before. And this time, it finally became a pure flat screen design. You can see it's a flat screen design. This time on the Pro version, it doesn't have a camera button, which I think is fine because I feel the camera button isn't really useful. Also, there's an extra button on the upper left side and I don't even need to say it. You should all know what button it is. All right, next let's assemble the photography kit. Look at the camera and smile. Hmm, the photo turned out well, but I can't show it to you yet. For now, I can only show you the performance of the Tianji 9500. Let's run the benchmark test at room temperature. The room temperature is around 23 degrees. The benchmark score reached 4 million 90,000 points, which is quite outrageous. Next, after an hour of high quality six frame Genshin impact testing, the phone's battery dropped by only 11% with a maximum temperature of only 37 degrees and an average frame rate of 61 frames. You should be satisfied with this performance, right?